In 1980, Nikon released their third professional SLR, the iconic Nikon F3. Its predecessors include the original Nikon F, and then the F2, and a bunch of other variations. The F3 was a professional's camera, with heavy duty build and manual aperture priority modes for the working photographer. When I say these cameras were built like a tank, I really mean it. In the hands, it feels like a small warhead. On the exterior of the body, you have the famous red stripe, which was designed by the famous Italian designer, Giorgetto Giorgiaro. The simplistic Nikon emblem sits on the front of the camera to let everyone know its legacy. And on the top of the camera, you have what most will call the perfect layout. The F3 features an 11 ball bearing film advanced lever that is smoother than any other camera advance I've ever felt. The shutter speed dial sits in all black, ranging from bulb all the way up to 1 2,000th of a second. It also has an aperture priority option as well. On the left side of the camera, you have the ASA or ISO setting, along with the exposure compensation and film rewind lever. If you pull up on the lever, it will open up the back film door to reveal the shutter. I forgot to mention, this camera does need silver oxide batteries in order for the shutter to fire, but there's also a mechanical shutter release on the front that shoots at 1 90th of a second. To professionals back in the day, the electronic shutter was seen more as an issue than a plus. Coming from an era of hard and reliable mechanical cameras, the newer electronic F3 scared some people away. But over the years, it became apparent, the F3 was built to last. Here I am today, nearly 40 years later, holding the camera. The light meter is still working flawlessly, and a beautiful patina shrouds the body as a sign of its age. The F3 truly is a durable camera and will hold its name as one of the greatest SLRs in my opinion. Over the last couple months, I've gotten to know the camera and shoot quite a few rolls through it. No matter how much I love my Minolta X700, the F3 has been in my hands for the last month and a half and was also my main companion on our recent trip to Seattle. The F3 also accepts most of Nikon's vintage AI lenses, which have their own legacy. These lenses can create some extremely sharp images like the one I have here. This is a Nikkor 50mm 1.4 and it's arguably one of the sharpest lenses I own. Now for some shots taken with the F3. The F3, to put simply, could be the greatest SLR ever made. But with everything comes just opinions. But what do you think? Could this camera really be the greatest SLR ever made? I'd like to thank you for your time. This has been King James. Till next time.